Hi, welcome back. Today I have with me Creative Zen Air Dot in here headphone to unbox and review. Stay tuned. So if we look at the contents of the box, we have the quick start guide. We have the type C charging cable and the earbuds charging case with the earbuds side. It has a strong magnet as well. Let's see if it charges. There's a indicator here. Send dots. Okay. For mic comparison, I'm going to use the Soundpits True Engine 3 SE and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. This is a mic test for Soundpits True Engine 3 SE. Testing one, two, three. This is a mic test for Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Testing one, two, three. This is a mic test for Creative Zen Air Dot. Testing one, two, three. This is a mic test for Ampitch 2 MD. Testing one, two, three. This is a mic test for Creative Zen Air Dot Testing 1, 2, 3 Creative Zen Air Dot Mic Testing 1, 2, 3 After months of usage, I have narrowed down to the Samsung and Creative the sound pits I have taken away from the test For the Samsung, it provided a good noise cancellation but the downside is it does not have a on off feature but you're not using it you have to put back in the case if you leave it lying around it just consumes power as for the creative there is a on off feature but the noise cancellation is not as good as the samsung but it is decent and the uh, audio is uh, relatively good for the price range it provides a good decent sound as for my daily driver I tend to move towards the creative now more than the Samsung but I do switch between the both so for uh, if you if you're looking for a decent pair of uh, wireless ear odds you might want to consider this uh, creative Zen add-on